Race one on the card, ready. And racing and uh, jumping will be at the inside barn door, Billy, but there goes big time coffee to head it off and trying to get into the race horse overs. Don't mention it. The rail there for Corborn unless he's got a bit of work to do, but starts to run out wide a walnut back. Here we go to last man alive. The two at the back of the field are how would I know and cruise away they go for home. Big time coffee's going to turn first. Well clear, trying hard as barn door, Billy down the outside. Don't mention it, but it's all big time coffee. And big time coffee will get there okay from barn door, Billy. Don't mention it. Uh, just in third there and very close here for fourth. Nothing between last man alive, Corborn Lassie, Corborn Lassie, last man alive. That's a close. Just in behind on crossing there, we would have had uh, Cruiserway was also back. And also back there was a How Would I Know. Locked away now for the second. Heat number two for the Maidens. Set to go, ready. And racing into flying off the inside there as Wet Chest is going to go straight to the front from Boy of Chumps. Just tucked in behind now is Carla Dior. Just in behind that to Big Time Ladies making ground. Then we go back here to uh, Camelia Baxter. Just going ahead of that was uh, Cindy Action. And uh, out the back is Unbeno and they go for home. Centre track now Wet Chester. Out wide Boy of Chumps giving plenty the inside here to Big Time Lady. Wet Chester. Boy of Chumps drives. Oh, this is very close. Boy of Chumps has had a lunge at Wet Chester. There's nothing in this. Let me go to big time, lady. You unbeknown's got to fourth. Uh, then on crossing here, we would have had uh, Cindy Action just in behind that. Uh, Zonic Blue wasn't far away. And the one that, that was the one that found trouble at the beginning there, Zonic Blue. And Camila Baxter was just up ahead of them. comes round race three ready and there they go and uh, one slow there that was fashion's fancy and uh, getting out well was big time sweaty but there goes rosa t to head it off rosa t now from big time sweaty getting to third sky delight back in the field here we go to billy marlow unaccustomed just going ahead of that corborn westy back here we go to fashion fancy and home bush just still they go for home rosa t in front but going again big time sweetie and big time sweetie will get past Rosa T, very close here for third. Corborn West, he's charged through on the inside of Sky Delight. There's a photo. Then we go back here to Billy Marlow. And just in behind Billy Marlow, we would have had their Fashions Fancy. Also their Unaccustomed and Homebush to sell. to go ready and racing and a bit slow there was uh, Angie Zara and jumping out to the leader smash it go along there with Field the Force and trying to get around the outside of Sonic Attack tracking into it now is Frappuccino back here we go to Enhancer wide on the track is Angie Zara and towards the back of the field now is Huzan they go for home smash it go the inside the outside Sonic Attack giving plenty and ranges past it Sonic Attack will get there and beat oh very close here for second smash it go Frappuccino Frappuccino or smash the leg row. That's very close and very close here for fourth as well. Enhancer flew it, feel the force. There's nothing in that. Then we go back here to uh, It's the Lovely. and the jumping will send a track here is bare some time but there goes Thrilling Boris charging around the outside Thrilling Sabres coming off the rail not too far away then we go back here to Corborn Cox also a leg row bow the inside to Robin Zahood looking to get underneath them across the top Thrilling Boris by three on spare some time holding down second Thrilling Sabre trying to get to third they're ahead of Corborn Cox and just in behind the leg row bow but up they come Thrilling Boris nicely clear and will race away to beat spare some time a good run Thrilling Sabre to third then we go here two on crossing Robin Zahood getting past that leg row bow He's beaten one home, and that was Corborn Cooks are dropping out.
set to go. Ready. And racing into jumping best. The inside here is untouchable, but there goes Spring Allegro pushing up on the inside. Big time rises right there. Hooks to the outside. They've broken away now on Kirk and Jasper trying to get around the outside of No Leave. A couple back to Need you. And the two at the back of the field. Kirk and Harvey also back there with big time power. Down the side they come. Spring Allegro. Catch me if you can. Away by three or four. Big time rise trying to come out after it's just in behind. Untouchable. Late run also Need you, but down they come. Spring Allegro will get there and get there comfortably from big time rise. Then we go to Untouchables Hill third. Gee, fourth very close. So Niju was getting home. Kirkham Jasper, Kirkham Jasper, Niju. There's nothing in that. Not too far away on crossing. We would have had uh, no leave was just up on the inside. And towards the back of the field, Kirkham Harvey never got into it, nor did big time power. the swings round ready and there they go and jumping will the inside chai latte but to jumping with it opawa harry's going to go up and to head it off trying to get around the outside no respect and corborn mill coming with them as corborn lins uh, just in behind here we go to a corborn steps break back in the field to allegro power magic latte gets a shuffle corborn lins and corborn mill both get a shuffle as well they run to the corner opawa harry traveling will the inside chai latte's not done with break back in the field to no respect chai latte drives up on the inside of opawa harry and gets it past opawa harry to get the win getting to third was no respect respect uh, fourth possibly there allegro power not far away magic latte corborn steps towards the tail corborn mill uh, was the one coming around the outside and found trouble and corborn lins also finding a bit of trouble and relegated back towards the end to go ready and there they go and jumped out well too can't catch Tim along there with Jojo going up and now trying to push her in the inside is Phantom Way also trying to get a run up on the inside but now running wide there was Al Sambo getting through to fourth there was Docker back here we now go to Al Sambo back to uh, Team Maria's got back in the field with Corborn Esky they charge down the back Jojo gets away by four or five now on no worth just in behind can't catch Tim's got a bit of work to do just in behind can't catch Tim as Docker also trying to run now as Al Sambo the inside Phantom Way back in the field Team Maria and Corborn Esky they go for home no worth goes up alongside jojo now what can't catch tim doing only holding down third at the moment jojo the inside no worth the outside doing the better no worth will beat jojo then we go to can't catch tim will qualify probably needed the run on the track then we had phantom way will also qualify then we go back on crossing to but team maria's missed out then to our sambo docker corborn esky no worth And there they go, and Deshandel away, OK, probably a bit slower than anything. Going to the front is Swiftly, Chloe's nice and handy, and she gets to the lead now from Stingers right there, and also pushing up the inside is Boston Hart. Break back here to Corborn Paddock. Now Shandell gets into her work. <coughs> the inside out, why do we go to uh, Autumn Lights? Break back in the field there to Corborn My Emmy. And Highway Hound across the top, they come in front, Stinger, right there is Swiftly Chloe, just in behind Boston Hart, Shandell's got a bit of work to do, just trying to get past that is Corborn Panic, in behind is Autumn Lights, they go for home, still in front, Stinger, the outside, Swiftly Chloe getting into its work now, Shandell also starting to wind up, but it's Stinger, Stinger gets home, will get there just, oh, very close here for second, had Swiftly Chloe held out, Shandell, Shandell or Swiftly Chloe, very close, here we go to Boston Hart, Corborn Panic, just in behind the autumn lights and highway hound. Just about there, ready. 
And there they go, and a bit slow there was Blacky Chan and No Hassle. Jumping to the lead out wide now is Allegro Beatty. Just in behind, here we go, two are going, winning right round the outside. No Hassle's going to burn them all off into the first corner. A great recovery. Gets to the lead now from Allegro Beatty. Break back in the field here to Bernie's boy, and also Kirk and Jack. Not far away, go and win. Blackie Chan back in the field. Corborn, Jazzy B. Look today, go for home. Well clear, No Hassle. Trying to come out after it is Allegro Beatty and also Bernie's boy, but easy, easy win for No Hassle. Gets there. From Allegro Beatty, then we go to Bernie's boy, Kirkham, Jack, just in behind. They got right away on the rest of the field, headed up there by Go and Win, Blackie Chant, Corborn, Jazzy and B. Lichter. about ready and there they go and the jumping best here was Kirkham Cove he's going to go straight to the front pushing up in the inside is Sarcasm uh, Boston Lightly now looking for Funky Town trying to get to the outside and going with it around the outside Math My Run also there is Corborn Gunner goes to fourth now getting back Sarcasm just ahead of Boston Lightling and getting a shuffle out the back as our Gypsy they go for home Kirkham Cove turns first up along the inside Funky Town giving plenty just in behind me go to Math My Run kicking hard Kirkham Cove will hold out Funky Town. Then we go here to map my run. Got to third just there. Ahead of Corborn Gunner. Sarcasm. And the two at the back of the field. Boston Lightning and Al Gypsy. Racing in the cup and a jumping will the inside. Anthony minded along there with Timmy Tootles going up to hit it off and even wider here on the tack. Timmy Trumpets trying to get around the outside to third there. Paul Dozer pushing up. Just in behind we go to Corborn. Brick a couple back to Sheer Miss. The inside to Lonesome Nitro and out wide we go to Americano. Down the side they come. Timmy Tootle is going to turn first. Here comes Timmy Trumpet. Just in behind we go to Paul Dozer. Trying hard Timmy Tootle. Trying hard Paul Dozer but Timmy Tootle all the way from Paul Dozer. Then we go to Timmy Trumpet. Just in behind Corborn. Brick then back to Sheer Miss. Uh, but back, back in the field on crossing two, where Advent minded after a good beginning was back with Americano and Lonesome Nitro. go and uh, just a bit slow there was uh, Wong for the rest jumping to the front here is Kayla Blueblood trying to get into the race the inside don't muzzle me out wide here we go to big time Taylor Corborn lock looking to push up on the inside they've broken clear on Wong for the rest back there to his brief spray Elsa and towards the tail Corborn hand and also Homebush feeder up they come don't muzzle me clear and don't muzzle me will get this okay from Corborn lock big time Taylor then we go to Kayla Blueblood just in behind here to uh, Wong for the rest see spray Elsa and towards the tail uh, Corborn, Hint and Homebush, Frida. Race 14, ready. And there they go, and he jumped all out well, well, wide too, Manu Rama, but not as good as Corbin Martin, who's going to go to the lead now, getting across Manu Rama. Break back in the field to lip it up, and Banshee Boy, a couple back to lick it up. Then we go here to uh, fill your boots back in the field now. Deuce has got back there with, you know, Nathan. They go for home. Corbin Martin's going to turn first. The inside, Manu Rama trying to go out after him, but Corbin Martin kicking too hard to beat Manu Rama. Then we go to Banshee Boy. They broke away on lick it up and lip it up. Just in behind, fill your boots. And towards the back of the field, you know Nathan and Deuce didn't get the jump today. The last race, ready. 
And racing and off the inside here, Tracy jumped out well, but there goes Rally Sarius to hit it off and right round the outside, Corborn Serena, wider here on the track to Totes, gets to third, just ahead of Alcudia, pushing through, they've broken away on Idle Butcher, wide on the track is Take the Shorts back, here we go to Sasha McBell and Tracy, they swing for home, Rally Sarius nicely clear, Corborn Serena just whistles on past though, and Corborn Serena will come away to beat Rally Sarius third, oh that's very close, Alcudia. Uh, flying at totes, there's nothing in that, and right up between them, Idle Butcher. Then we go back here on crossing to take the shorts, Tracy and Sasha McBill.